This is one of the most dangerous intersections in Maricopa County, and it's right off campus, 27th Avenue in Camelback. The Maricopa County Association of Government looked at crash severity, frequency, and cost to determine a ranking. And this intersection made the top 10. 206 wrecks happened here between 2018 and 2022. Something which won't surprise you if you regularly drive around here. It's an unfortunate trend. The Arizona Department of Public Safety reports a 20% increase in accidents in the last year. Being aware of your surroundings is essential here and on campus, which is why GCU Public Safety works around the clock to protect GCU students and employees on campus. But if you get into an accident here at this dangerous intersection, you'll need to call the Phoenix Police. I'm Jalen Meyer-Peter reporting for Lopes Lately. Welcome back to Lopes Lately. Your go-to source for the latest on Grand Canyon University's campus. I'm Jalen Meyer-Peter. And I'm Parker Hovilla. What a rundown we have today, Parker. We'll be looking at Thanksgiving activities, GCU's electric upcoming lip sync battle, a touch of Mary Poppins magic, and a sneak peek into the upcoming Christmas season. Christmas already? Let me dive into some turkey and mashed potatoes first. Well, We'll see what the Lopes here at GCU think of the upcoming holiday season. Absolutely. But hey, stick with us as we dive into what's happening here in Lope Country. The biggest party in college basketball has a new home, the Global Credit Union Arena at Grand Canyon University. The new name is thanks to a multi-year partnership between GCU and another GCU, Global Credit Union. GCU basketball is garnering national attention after their win against San Diego State University, marking the first time in program history they beat an NCAA Top 25 team. Global Credit Union is one of the largest credit unions in the U.S., and new signage for the arena will be up in early 2024. Mary Poppins is playing in GCU's Ethington Theater. And if you haven't already seen this musical production, you can catch it this weekend, the 17th through Sunday the 19th. Tickets are free for students, but sell out fast, so hurry and grab yours now. The show is set in London, where two children are in need of a nanny. With a bit of magic and whimsy, Mary Poppins takes it upon herself to show the children about the adventures found in everyday life. After seeing how hard the cast and crew have been working behind the scenes, there's no doubt the show will be supercalifragilisticexpialidocious! I love a little show magic. I think you just like a bit of magic in general. Okay, listen. There's nothing wrong with some festivity in your day-to-day, -day, especially Christmas festivity. Personally, I think it's too soon. I still want some of those canned cranberries. Oh, don't be such a Grinch. Lucky for us, we spoke to GC students in Lope Country to see what they have to say about Christmas festivities. More than 25,000 students are now on campus at Grand Canyon University to begin the fall semester. It's a record-breaking class, up 14% from last year. The private university on 35th Avenue in Camelback is abuzz with Welcome Week activities. New and returning students are enjoying dance parties, concerts, and sporting events. Over the summer, GCU added two new resident halls and can now house over 17,000 students on campus. There's nothing better than a Lopes win, except maybe snagging some food on campus. And we definitely saw an example last Friday as the Multicultural Lounge held an event featuring Native American and other dishes. The event had a bunch of different types of food, from tacos to corn cookies. The Multicultural Food event seems like it was a hit. And all this talk of food isn't going away anytime soon. You know, with Thanksgiving right around the corner. Tune in again on our next broadcast for all the news happening here in the heart of GCU. I'm Jalen Meyer-Peter. And I'm Parker Ovilla. We'll catch you next time on Lopes Lately. Julie.